Lucas, Luke 24. Now on that certain Shabbat, very early in the morning, they came to the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of Adonai Yahusha. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments, and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Eth, remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galil, saying, The son of Adam must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulchre. And Eth told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. It was Miriam of Migdal, and Ya'uk Hanan, and Miriam the mother of Ya'akov, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Kepha, and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was to come, rather, was come to pass. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Yamim, which was from Yerushalayim, about threescore stadion. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that, while they communed together and reasoned, Yahusha himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were held that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these? that ye have one to another, as ye walk, and are sad. And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering, said unto him, Are you only a stranger in Yerushalayim, and have not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Yahusha of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed and word before Yah and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Yah Shed'el, and beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not his body, they came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre, and found it even so as the women had said. But him, rather him, they saw not. And then he said unto them, O oh, fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Mashiach to have suffered those thi rather these things, and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moshe and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat to eat with them, he took bread and blessed it and broke and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, 
Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us eth the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour and returned to Yerushalayim and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them, saying, Adonai is risen indeed and has appeared to Shimon. And they told what things that were done in the way and how he was known of them in breaking of bread. And as they thus spoke, Yahusha himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a ruach. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a ruach has not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them at his hands and his feet, And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of a broiled fish and a honeycomb. And he took it and did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the Torah of Moshe, and in the prophets, and in the Tehillim concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Hamashiach to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Yerushalayim. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send at the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Yerushalayim until ye be endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as to Bethany. And he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, when he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Yerushalayim with great joy and were continually in the temple, praising and blessing Yah. Amen. Amen.